Oh my god. Dude, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Oh shit, what's up? I got the black eye just from you. What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I had sent to me. You Huge shout out to Aaron Simpson. I think that's a transgender from Scotland. What's going on, brother Shaggy? I know who you are. See, I said who you are, not who they are. You be you, Daddy Boo. You be you. I'm woke, I think. Hello. Huge shout out to Shaggy, all jokes aside. Aspire posts these pictures about things that they're coming out with and they're trying to hype it up, but they post it on their main Aspire page and right at the bottom there's a little quip that says not for sale in the United States or you can't get this, go fuck yourself, woke Americans. That's basically what I'm reading it as. And I, I saw these products, I was like, why would you post those on your Instagram if there's no way for me to get it? So I touch base with my trannies because, you know, I know lots of them. We get down like that when you're part of the LGBTQIA plus binary situation you just know a lot of people right especially the people that are not in that bracket but want to be friends with people in that bracket and want to represent and pick it for those people in that bracket of course I'm one of them so anyway that's what I did I touched base he said Jay I got you don't worry about it and uh well I got it now here's the deal I have not opened this up. This is sealed. There are two different variations. I believe <laughs> the words are rough. Uh, this is actually a free video because I didn't pay for it. Shaggy did. Huh? So if it's not my money, it's his, hers, theirs. <laughs> So he sent it to me, right? He's a cool cat, cool dude. And I told him, hey, I want to get my hands on it. He's like, yeah, let me see what I can do when he picked one up. And now it's in front of me, but now, okay, there is so much that I want to say about Aspire right now. I just hope that this thing is fucking flawless. There are two different variations. I believe a deluxe and a tuxedo or something, or a tuxedo and ass. Mm. <laughs> A sesame seed. Here, because I haven't had a sesame seed bagel for about a week. I guess that's why I have to spend more time at the dentist. So, uh, yeah, I think the two different variations, one uses a Nautilus coil and the other one uses a BP coil. About Aspire, he uses this Nautilus Prime a lot, so I don't, maybe this will do that. And I can tell you just by looking at this, without even opening this, that I'm not going to be impressed at all. He got me the wrong one. He got me the Nautilus one, which sucks. But you know what? Beggars can't be choosy. Choosers. Yeah, this is the Tuxedo Nautilus. And I think there's another version. Damn it! The fuck, Shaggy? Oh, I'm so ungrateful because I didn't buy it. Let's... I just burnt my sun... I smacked my sunburn. Let's let that... All right, so what you're learning is the Aspire Tuxedo Coloring, black with stainless steel, and this is the B-O-X-X, -X, and it says designed by Sunbox, but Atmazoo also did the deluxe rendition, which is in the rebuildable, which I don't have. So, in theory, it's just Sunbox and Aspire, but Sunbox has been making Chinese fucking garbage for a very long time. That's not saying that this is, it's just that this company means absolutely nothing to me. There is no significant value, and then on the bottom of the box, you're going to have a scratch and sniff. It's going to taste and smell exactly like used newspaper. Can't really focus there, but it does say box kit Nautilus version. I would have preferred the BP because, in fact, that's what I'm using. If you haven't seen that review, there's a re little link in the corner up here. Absolutely phenomenal device. I can't see this really taking that place because this is, in theory, very boxy. I'm sure that Sunbox fans are going to come by. Oh, my God, he fucking hates it. He's so biased. Shut up. Just shut, just shut your face, okay? You don't know shit. I go into everything not liking it. And if I do like it, I tell you. Wait a minute. Oh, what is this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
It looks like I have the Atmazoo part too. Huge shout out to Shaggy or the shit, brother. Okay, so let's uh, let's open this up. So I'm, I'm not going to use the Nautilus version. I can tell you right now. Their .7 coil works, but I much prefer their BP series. They are phenomenal coils. And I get what Aspire's doing, you know. It's a smart company. You know, they're, they're making money off of these other companies that, good for them. Good for Aspire. It's the first time I'm actually rooting for away team than home team. I ha oh, goodness. I thought that was going to be a lot smaller than what that is. And, of course, this is the Prestige branding. Having a little peripheral pouch. That is a manual. Shit. Yeah, I guess they're using some type of recycled newspaper here. Let's see what kind of chip they're using. Proprietary chip? I hope not. I hope not. Because it's a high-end company, right? I, you know what? I'm going to start taking that label away from companies that just really focus on all Chinese uh, it, it doesn't, it doesn't say anywhere that I see. I just see up here one to 60 watt, but I gave Aspire shit for this because they did this with Smoker Store when they used the chip that looked like it was DNA. So that's the mod guys. Oh my. <clears throat> I have a lot of thoughts for that already. On the bottom of the box, you're going to have your box pond for the Nautilus goals. That's This is a nice presentation. I, It's very hard for me to hate against this. That 510 adapter looks like that belongs on a billet box, doesn't it? Oh, no. Oh, no. See, this is why I, I just start to lose all my cool, and I'm not fun anymore because I turn into a grumpy asshole. Shut your face. Shut your fucking face right now. Guys, you see this shit that I'm doing, right? Guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do I have to say about this? Oh, a lot. I get what you're going to say. It's all the threading is the same. It's fine. That an accessory for a box made by Aspire and Sunbox, who was a high-end company, to have a threading that is exactly the fucking same as an American box, the billet box. I'd love, love, now that's a flush cup, that's a, that's a different one, or not a flush cup, but a flush 510. I would love to hear the reasoning behind that, that is from the Aspire little pond system, by the way. I don't have a lot to say, but I'm not going to use anything in here. Definitely not. Maybe. Maybe. And, you know, why does that look like a Boro tank? Is the... Yo, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. So, it's one thing when all these companies make accessories... Right, we, we've seen other companies, SXK did this, right? They made something that used the billet box, but this is a Spire and a high-end company that's making a box, I was not expecting this, to essentially accommodate, yep, this might be the first time I've seen a big name company, a Chinese company, actually take a design and, uh, I mean, it's not a clone of a billet box, but it uses. Anyway, I'm going to show you right now. It uses a Boro tank from Aspire. Yeah. I feel a certain type of way about this. So, whether or not I even use that accessory is irrelevant. This is... It's not a clone of the bill box, okay? It's not. But it's a it's a high-end company, Sunbox and Aspire, that uses billet box borrow tanks with probably a proprietary chip or a clone of the DNA 60. If that's the case, oh my god. Dude, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. I'm assuming that's how we put it in. Maybe look down there, positive. Yup, I can't believe Aspire did this. I, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be a happy man. 
you know this is going to look like a DNA, right? Like, you know that. Yep. It's not a DNA, though. I can tell you by the font choice. Isn't that fucking cool? Designed by Sunbox. You should be ashamed of yourself. How would you feel if someone took your product and made a fucking copy of it? Yep, because we're doing that with the chip. One. We're doing that with the Boro. Two. Aspire. Come on, man. Come on. Hey, welcome back again. And as you can tell right now, this is a promotion for myself. Instead of blue blocks or blue cocks or whatever the fuck, just go ahead and just click the join button down below, youtube.com slash jays slash join. Yes. Don't or do. Sponsored by Jay Hayes. This is just, it, it was one thing when you did the chip, man. It's another now that you're using an accessory for a fucking Boro tank. Let's just take a look at this. I mean, because at this point, it, this irritates me. I would expect this from SXK. I wouldn't expect this from Aspire. And especially a high-end company. Actually, well, Atmazoo's been doing that. So I'm not going to give Atmazoo too much shit. Because they have made the snail, the shell. They've done a lot, right? I feel like I should do a review just for this. Because this probably works in a billet box. There's all your different airflow jammies. Some gaskets on the inside there. I, I feel like this literally should be its own review. Unless, of course, it doesn't work in a billet box and it only works in this. Let's just see. All right, it's a little juicy. Don't worry about that. Got that dirty, dirty. I don't know how you people sleep at night. When you support companies that just take other people's designs. Huh. Well, well, well. Actually, doesn't look bad. This airflow is terribly loose. Yeah? What the fuck is that about? Well, I guess... Okay. Well, that's weird. So, that I mean, it's it's nice looking. And they probably put that reducer inside of there. Or put the reducer in there so they could get past TPD. That that is, you know, that's attractive looking. I'll give them that. I, I will. I one hundred percent. Not really much different than their other products, but we're gonna have to take that apart to get that little plug out of there. You see it? This guy right here. We'll remove that. It's got to come off some way, yeah. Oh, that is that's a that's a tight tight waffle. Sweet Jesus. That almost looks like that's designed to not come off. But it is. Don't let it fool you. There you go. Uh, you know what? I do. I do like that. I'm gonna I'd be lying to you if I told you I didn't. Okay, so what we have is a uh Spire's version of a billet box. That's basically what we're looking at. Proprietary chip, spire, and sunbox. Gotta love that little glue that was left behind. That's always smart to put a super sticky fucking sticker on something that's black or even stainless steel. But you have your airflow that's located down here. You could be able to see the tank somewhat. It's very elongated. It's not very attractive. This reminds me of the mix. I, I You know, it's, it's, it's a Spire's version of a billet box. That's what it is with Sunbox. Great. Okay, so we'll open this up. And then there it is. So that reminds me a lot of their other products, yeah? Let's see here. They did this one, yeah? I don't remember which one that is, but there it is. The vapes now. They did the vape shell, right? That's, nope, that's, that's the other part of the snail. They did the vape shell, which is right here. Right, which is also very similar to that. That's kind of just a just a bridge in itself versus the other one is a tank. So yeah, they've done this before. It's not their first way around the block, but this is essentially a vape snail and a vape shell and kind of a boxer on the top. You do have some ported airflow. The way that you put this in, there are these little grooves. It goes like this, goes in, and then your juice is gonna feed through the top and then onto your cotton here. You do have this little awkward cutout, but they're doing that really to isolate 
this post right here. That's not really for any juice. So it's a gravity-fed boro tank. Machining isn't terrible, but I would assume that Aspire made this, which is why this is an accessory that's pushed with the deluxe kit. I would assume. I, I mean, it could be I have no idea what in the fuck I'm talking about, but it's probably not the case. So... Let's do it. And again, the reason why this video is for free is because I did not pay for this. Good old shaggy Aaron sent this to me, so let's put a build in it. All right, so this is a little bit of an awkward one. 26 dual core with 38 on the outside, a little bit of a jacked up core. I had no idea what I was doing. I think I was drinking too much V8 that day. But we're going to be putting inside of this, what is it called? The Obliques? The Cubix. Cubix RBA Pod. Good. That is quite of a... Juicy call, but I have no idea what I'm doing, so it's okay. <laughs> Now, keep, that's probably a little bit too much power. Let's just bring that down. Still picking up 0.54. You know, as far as this is concerned, right, you, you just really want to make sure, since it is diagonal, that your juice ports do line up where the cotton is. It goes down, and it kind of, it, does, it doesn't necessarily, that's that's my shell, it doesn't necessarily snap in, and you see that it is still picking up at a 0.54, and it's not grounding out, so we're good. Uh, it, it's not it's not the most fun to try to get a coil in there, and that is a, a quite large coil, but it is raised up a little bit, so we shouldn't have a problem. So we're going to put that inside of the billet box. If we could get that to somehow. There it is. Yep. Let's screw that down. Again, this. That is just irritating. Check atomizer. <laughs> oh, fucking course. Okay, so we're going to try this in a Delro because I can't seem to get that to work with the um, <laughs> with the billet box. They're going to say that's not designed that way. That's why. Sure, sure. That's, that's the reason why that doesn't work. It's because it's not designed for it. You've seen the... Well, that, that, that 510 is absolutely shit. It does stick out, and I'm sure that's for a reason, but that may... Uh, that may cause a problem. Yeah, I don't want to scratch that up. So, I guess I'm going to have to fucking use this. Oh, my God. I'm just getting so irritated with this piece of shit right now. I guess I'm going to use their fucking piece of shit on the Aspire. Yeah, it's irritating. It really is. Let me tell you why this is so irritating. You're taking the design, okay? You're... <laughs> You're taking the Boro design and using it on a different product where if I was to use this, I get it, I get it. Someone's going to say, well, I use it on my billet box and it's fucking fine. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Anyway, the 510 on the bottom sticks out. Now, you saw when I went to put that in the Delro, that's going to scratch that up, right? And I, and I don't, I just... I don't want to drag that down for a $30 just to scratch that up. It is a little some condensation. I don't know if that's from that. It's probably from the tank. I don't remember it being that wet. But, and I'm not going to, it's not working on the Boro or the Villa box. So I guess I'm going to use this piece of shit with a proprietary chip. So we'll just screw that in and uh, we'll just go from here, yeah? Using a fucking proprietary chip. It's not a bad boro, but you're taking the design of the billet box and... Oh. So now I have to convert all of this into one fucking video. So that's fun. That's going to be a nightmare to edit. So let's just screw this down. Because I'm having a good fucking time right now. If this doesn't pick it up, then this thing's a piece of shit. Because it works fine on a box, right? Okay, there it is. Oh, it picks it up, so at least that's good. Jay, and if it didn't, you know what someone would have said? Jay, you don't know how to build! Ah, you're stupid! And you can suck my fucking balls.
I love this. I love this grommet. It's really good. Really super tight. Uh, all, seems to only work on their proprietary version. So we're going to put about uh, three hits worth of juice in here. I can't believe that. Yeah, you know what? So it is essentially Atmazoo then, because that's Atmazoo. Uh, again, it doesn't work in my billet box, but and I can, I'm not forcing it into Delro. So that's that. Can't really see the juice, but that's good. And you could tell that these are really two different colors. Good job, Aspire. This is more like a midnight blue and a black. That's nice. So, you know, you hold it to certain angles and it looks good. Still got that sticky shit there. Let's bring this piece of shit back on top. Look, it's even got the half circle for the sticker. All right, back on top with the box and, of course, the cubics on the inside. Now, I was going to do two different videos. Like, I prepped that because I was so let down by the fucking box that it's a DNA clone. Don't like that. I don't want to say it's a build box clone because it's nowhere close, right? But it uses a Burdo tank. But the thing is with the Cubics, I don't quite know, and I'm not going to research it because I really don't give a shit, that whether or not it's supposed to work with the billet box. But if the Burdo tank works with the box and this fits inside of the billet box, you would think that, that would, it would work. But it's like the same thing with the truss. Remember when you did the, well, when I did the truss review right here, I couldn't get it to work in certain products. That's exactly the problem I had with Cubix. And I was not going to rip up my Delro trying to put that stupid fucking 510 in there. I get why they protruded a little bit so it works on most devices. It's just not worth it for me to destroy a mod trying to get a $32 piece of shit Boro tank inside of it. I don't want to say it's a piece of shit because I haven't really used it. But here we go. So let, let's talk about the box. Ready? The fire button location is retarded. Like, it's cut into the side of the mod next to the fire up and down. Almost giving you the appearance of a DNA 60 and even the bottom. They're attempting it to look just like a DNA 60. It's not. All right. Here we go. 29 watts. It's a smooth hit. Don't like the drip tip. Look, I know. You're probably saying, Jay, you're just being biased because it's like a billet box. You're wrong. You're very wrong. There has been products, the Dale Rowe, case in point, uses the Boro tank, but it's not as similar as the billet box, if that, if that makes sense. Kind of, you get what I'm saying. This is a high-end company, Sunbox, or who touted themselves as, well, they didn't tout themselves as high-end, other people did, including myself, but they're working with Aspire on making a product that has a clone of a chip that's American-made, as well as using a tank. I get it. It's a great design, so why not other companies use it? That still doesn't make it okay. Like, it doesn't. So, I don't like the box. I don't like the screw on the top. I don't like the drip tip. I don't like the fire button. I don't like the fucking screen. There's a lot. It's too boxy. I know it's a box mod. Well, you know what? This is a box mod. And if, if you ever bought something that shaped like this, that looked like a box, this is a box. And I'm not talking about your Toblerone fatty. I'm talking about a fucking box. Like, you're not going to go to Home Depot and get a box shaped like this with, like, some sandbags and shit in it. I don't even know why your box has sandbags in it. Like, I don't, it, it's, it, I, yeah, yes, you're right. It is a box. Just that. Using a box. I'll tell you what. This costs $100, right? Save up two more of those $100. Get yourself a fucking bill of box. That's all. That's it. You come with a ball tank, and yeah, you got to buy a bridge, but guess what? Such is fucking life. Aspire, you guys are slipping. Let me show you something. 18650, 18650, proprietary chip, proprietary chip. Look at the size difference. This is the size of a fucking waffle. This is the size of half of a piece of toast. This, I would eat. This, I'm going to throw in a fucking trash can. Like, and Shaggy's cool with that. You don't give a shit. I just, this is just not good. It's not good. But Sunbox, man, Aspire, you guys are starting to slip. Here we go. We're going to go down this road, but that's okay. Because you don't sell to the U.S. market, so who gives a fuck, right? Who gives a shit? No. If I had to rate this device on a 0 to 10, the BP calls, I'm sure, are going to be fucking fantastic. This is the Nautilus version. I'm not going to use it. I'm also not going to use that Cubix. Like, yeah, okay, cool, the vapes. Let's put some more power in it. I hate the fact that that's a DNA clone. And there's also no USB on this. Yeah, it's definitely a DNA clone. 100%. 100%.
A hundred percent. You can tell by the font. Just look at the font. Some box you should be Aspire. I'll let it slide. I'm well, not really Aspire. You should also be ashamed of yourself. But some box, tisk tisk tisk. You're a piece of shit company. You're not fucking high end. You're not. I'm just gonna shut that down right there. So much about this, I disagree with. Zero to ten, a zero. Yeah, I'd go outside and break it, but it's gonna rain, and I don't want to get wet. I don't recommend this. Literally, save up three hundred dollars and get a bill of box. Can't buy that. Buy even the the uh, the the uh, SXK version. That's better than this. Shit, the Dolph Pole collage or Kaligi is better than this. I can't even remember if they use the Boro tank. No matter what, anything is better than this. It's a piece of shit. Shame on you. Both of you companies. I've kept it real. You have not. Check this out.